Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blake Farms. Your host with uh, not the most, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, we are down here at the Beehives today. <sighs> Got the field canola done and I thought I was going to be able to have the trailer. It was like 35000 ahead. Then midnight came. So first of all, let's start with the map. Uh, cows gonna need some grass. Sheep's gonna need some grass. Um, da -da -da. Clean. Ooh, that ain't clean. I wonder why. That's pretty clean. I, I got all oh, the workers stopped at midnight. They're hurting me at midnight. I was gonna show y'all the fields. Hang on, just a second. Um, got. Number five fertilized up to the sunflowers. And uh, this is what we got left. Um, it's one stage. It looks like it's this color here. So ain't too much longer. All them be ready. Of course, it's plowed. Uh, sugar beets are here. Sunflowers. Um, corn on one, three, and half of two. Soybeans this side and soybeans here. Uh, other than that, we are looking pretty good except for money wise, folks. Yeah, whoa, I gotta slow, slow down, Mr. Blue. I have my running shoes on. As you can see, uh, Beehive is 16 and uh, over here, or wood is out. So, yeah, so I'm gonna take this little fella right here. We're gonna take him back here, add him to the the, to the pile. Oh, those bees makes me nervous. But I pushed them all up over here, and there's a few over here that's not completely like that was. And as you can see, zero and zero. I got one here that I can't get out for some reason. He's kind of stuck. So maybe he'll pop out more we'll sell. Sell, Mr. Blue. You want to sell them? Yes, family. Uh, fellow YouTubers, I'm going to sell these because they're, they're just, they're, yeah, they're causing money at midnight, uh, maintenance fees and stuff like that, and they're not running, so they're not giving me no money. So, uh, I'm going to sell them until we get a chance to get our money back up. I, I'd rather lose them than the rest of the factories and stuff, so. Uh, we got some cleaning to do today and some rearranging. And, uh, yeah, y'all gonna see that. Of course, y'all know I had to buy them. But the story is that was, uh, uh, the dozer and stuff is, you know, the other guy. We're just pretending, folks. Uh, but y'all pretend, y'all didn't hear me say pretend. <laughs> Oh, Lord, we got a lot of those. Uh, I'm currently trying to find the bee houses. Wow. A lot of stuff. No wonder we're going broke at midnight. Uh, yeah, we got the wood storage to empty out and sell to. Here we go. Oh, I see. Double tap. And we're going to sell that. 22,000. Oh man, they ain't gonna get us out of debt. I was hoping to get enough to buy another one of these uh, storage things. Hmm, that is definitely not gonna do it. We're gonna have to try to sell everything. We might just have to use that header. But of course, we. I forgot about something, Mo. I forgot about something. Uh, let's just back out of this completely. And there are gone. Boy, John from the market works fast, don't he? Now, over midnight, overnight, these went from 99 to 381. So, I'm like, wow. Um, I need to sort through these and get the bad ones out, but I just, uh, yeah, we can't do that. Let's see what's up on our agenda here. All right, field truck, Bobcat. And combine. Here we are at the combine. Whoa, got the tire. I uh, got to wash the combine up. 
How much silage we got? Whoa, seven hundred thousand. Is that maxed out on silage? Silage is a hundred percent. Silage is a hundred percent. So uh, we only got seven percent grass left in there. Uh, we get a great demand. We can afford to sell some of that. Um, let me uh get back in this and tab around this. I want to try to. Yeah, gotta do this real quick, folks. We did have another basket spawn, so that's good. All right, I can't hire him right now, so I'm just gonna. I didn't want out. Yeah, Betsy, I know. I'm cleaning y'all. Oh, how dirty. And we also got to do the manure, folks. Um, I really don't have no where to spread it unless we go over to our canola field and spread it. Um, which might be a possibility. We might do that today. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be today, but like I said, we got a lot of cleaning. Uh, I'm going to dump this in here. It probably should have went down to the, uh, you know, down towards the factories. But there's our uh, subsolar thing. We got to come bring the combine down here and get the header after oh the lag is real right here i might not be able to use that else here as far as building wise because all the lag and stuff we're getting now i really don't know where i need this wagon at i'm going to just drop it right here for now uh oh i want I'm going to use this tractor, so no course is loaded, that's good. Um, I need out of that, I need main farm to cow farm. And what we're going to do, I just, I don't know if we can do it right now. Which we can borrow a little bit from the bank. Because I, I did had a chance to pay some of it out. Oh, nearest point, drive course, stop at the last. We're gonna get we'll get the header, take it to the market shop, sell it. Cause uh, right now, folks, there's we done got barley, canola done, uh, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, and sugar beets are all due. On the same day so we're gonna be busy little beavers so we're gonna need that bigger header there's just no nothing about it do have some other stuff to sell and see he got this uh, side of the sunflowers fur lines I think he needs to jump to nine but we're not gonna really worry about that right now uh, I guess this is close enough um, and that's just, we sold two low, full loads of straw off that canola. That was, you know, after we got the other things, the thing over there full. So we got two that's completely full when you see them right there. And then we had uh, two loads we sold. And then that's what we got left that's on the trailer. Uh, brought this up here. We're going to be doing some mixing. Got to, folks. Got to. Let's see here. I'm going to jump in here. Get him to. There we go. Fill him up. We're going to fill the combine up. We're going to wash her first and get her out of the way. Let's get away from that. Let's see here. There we go. Ooh, that's kind of bright. But uh, we got a load of tomatoes and stuff down there to sell. Uh, and got a load of grain to sell. Oh. Maybe if I hurry up and finish washing this. We got to check our 
Uh, hang on, let me check something real quick. It might be going down. I don't want it to go down. Uh, canola, we're, we're at 54. Was it 66 there? Our last load was here, so let's go ahead and sell here. I know that don't make no sense, but Star of the West needs some canola. And there's 100,000 liters of it. So hopefully they'll get us out of debt and then plus some. We probably have some fuel to sell. I just ain't rounded it up yet. Our fuel truck's sitting over there. We're going to dump that into a fuel tank. All right. Let's see here. Where's our... Our tractors are ways off, so... Oh, I got to go put the wine up before I can... Oh, I can't do it on this map anyway. Duh. Well, I can, but... Uh, let's see here. I've got to go somewhere down here. Melt cell. It's not where I need to be, but it's going to get me close enough. And just round the building here. I'm having some issues with lag this time around. I, I bet it's all that equipment I got sitting over from Meadow Wood Farm. Uh, it, it's coming up. We're just waiting on a phone call from him, remember? All right, we're going to go ahead and sell. Oh, yeah, I got to... There we go. There's the trigger. Oh, Lord. Oh. It's glitching through. Pull up, pull up. Oh. I know that's unrealistic, folks. That's very unrealistic. All right, 53,000. What was our first one? Did it show the first one already? Or is it counted all at once? Okay, I gotta check something real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh, back this way. Ah. Go down here to... Well. Harvest income right there. 53,000. I guess it just all at once. Okay, well. Uh, I don't quite know where we need this truck at for the moment. I don't know where we're going to start. All depends on what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Alright, we got to get this guy going. We need milk at the D factory. Because we got 95% honey down there. And no milk to go with it. I just hope the two don't collide. Alright. Cow farm. To the market. Drive. Stop at the last. And, oh lordy. Let's see. Let's see if I can get into him real quick. Enter. I'm going to see if they're going to collide first. But anyway, folks, how y'all doing today? I've been rude. ain't asked that nothing yet. And, uh, yeah. And you look off to the right right here, folks. You see that? Look like somebody plowed off in the field there. They had a wreck or something. Took out 
part of my corn. I'm like, oh yeah, they're going to do lovely. Perfect. Awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the driver here. And of course loaded. And we're going to go back to cow farm and we're going to go to market. We got 15,000 plus the produce that we're fixing to sell. Along with this header, we should be able to buy a newer header. Hopefully. If not, we'll have to take some money out from the bank, which I need to show y'all that here in just a second. Uh, farm, cow farm to market. There's and the box is in my way. I'm gonna get this guy out of the way. Let's see. We got 16 hours on this guy. We know we might I'm thinking about trading them off for another one. Alright, drive course. Stop at the last. Um Oh, you would. For some reason, that don't register it. All right, drive course. What is... I guess he's registering that. Then auto save kicks in there. Alright, we're going to make sure we hit that. Alright, now. Next. Hmm. We need to get the combine just put away. So let's do that. Go ahead and close that out on this. Folder auger in. anything in that barn that we need now just uh, a bucket or something we're gonna I'm not gonna back it all the way in like I said I just want something will it fit in here oh yeah perfect and perfect I'm just gonna like right there ah with that there we go and let's see, this guy here should be filled up. Yep. Need to wash him up. And then that will kind of help free up this area. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to probably feed the cows, maybe. Actually, what I need to do is go ahead and go dump this because cows are pretty good right now. And we got 22,799 liters. And if we take a look at our cows, oh, they do need some, don't they? Okay, let's see if we can give them some then. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do what I was thinking about. Oh, I would have to roadblock. Well, it's not a road. It's going to go through there with the water trailer sitting there. This thing, this uh, storage on the other side over here by the chickens, it stores total mixed rations. Now, this thing here is so big and bulky, it won't hardly fit through the cow area through a lead barn it, it, it just it's really too tall for the door opening you have to fight it to get through there so what I thought about doing is fill this thing here full full oh chickens oh did that did it oh did I knock his head come on move oh chickens 
Okay, you moving? Did you go out? What, you, I wonder if I turn this thing on. Oh, I'll kill the motor. Oh, wow. That's the first I heard that say that. It's been mixing it. Yeah, let me kind of scoot on up here. And can we unload? Oh, we can unload. Oh, it's dumping on our own side. Oh, well, it, it is going in, though. You see right there, kind of towards the bottom. So I figured we take use of this. All right, come on. I guess they thought I was feeding them. But this thing takes four sullage bales, four hay bales, and three straw bales. Now, I use three. You could do any combination. You know, four straw, four hay, and three sullage, or, or three hay and four everything else. But I choose to use straw as the, the three. Because, you know, like if I decide to plant beans, mostly beans, instead of wheat or something to get straw, it, it, it'll be kind of hard to come by straw that way. Now, where's a good spot? Probably about right here. And, yeah, right there. Oh, 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 stop, stop. We need a bigger tractor on this. I'm thinking about getting a Sedmar. Once we get out of debt, we're going to trade this and for a 7R for a chore tractor. I'm going to hop out and we'll go jump over to the Peterbilt. Oh, I got here too late. Yeah, I really need to make another short little course here. There, there's our fuel tank. Where from here over to the honey milk and back to here to add in with that course uh, it, it's been working with the the wool because I got one for the wool set up that way it'd be like three courses combined into one or you can do just the two. Oh, we got lag over here for real maybe if I can zoom in that lag won't be ah there's yeah we got we got our produce to sell might be the produce is lagging us out because of the uh, straps the way they're doing oh I think the milk was on this end I should have stopped but it'd be all right all we have to do is back up and get the honey milk. But I'm trying to eliminate all the resources we can right now. There we go. Oh, let me shut the... Why ain't it shutting the... There we go. Maybe dizzy. Let's check see what we got as far as percentage on the milk here. Uh... Let's see honey milk's 95% and milk's 26%. So we're going to need more milk up here for sure. All right, we're going to go over here and sell the produce before uh, somebody comes along and gets it. And as you can see, the straps are really bugged out for some reason on this trailer. And that's just like it's on this trailer. So I'm thinking something's wrong with it and we really don't need it. Um, unstrap it here and we're going to slowly pull across here actually I think the whole thing will fit on here Oop. all right yeah they are doing a pretty good job unloading it our money is up here at 17,000 and there's our case. I want to shut this off while they're uh, 
uh, unloading it there and all right here's our header and let's go ahead and pull across the uh, the sale point here and see if John uh, give us a good deal on it since we washed it up and cleaned it and everything Don't hit the building, Mr. Blue. That's the last thing we need. All right. And detach. Hop down here. Oh, that's a nice uh, car there. $36,209 for it? Sure, John, you can have it. I think that's about half. We're at $59,000. That's a uh, oh wrong button. Go over to headers over here and uh, go ahead and pick us out one. Um, oh down here. Um, there we go. A little slow. Let's go ahead and scroll across over here. Like I said, we do have the coin headers already. We have two of them. All right, here's what we had. So 36, we got a little over half for that back. So we're short a few dollars. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and borrow 5,000 back from the bank if we can. Hopefully we can. Uh, let's see here. Repay. No, I want to borrow. Uh oh. That's not going to let us borrow. Uh oh. Yeah, let's see here. Well, we're going to sell that trailer. Let's go ahead and move this tractor out of the way. I forgot we're going to sell that little trailer and back that truck. Right here should be all right. And let's see, I gotta go with this menu. That'd be a little bit more helpful. Or somewhere wrong in there. Market, yeah. Oh, we're we'll get right on it. I'm in the trailer room. Huh. Good job there, folks. going to head on back up here to John's and like I said we're going to sell this trailer uh, it's nothing good but for the pallets uh, we can buy a uh, flatbed trailer for the semi you know we got a storage point for the wool so all we have to do whoa whoa don't hit the sign uh, is to keep putting the wool in the storage as far as those others, we can buy another flatbed for the for the bees and for uh, the factories, greenhouses. Factories don't need it, it's just the greenhouses. And we're going to sell those ones off and trade them out for the other ones. Let's move off to sale point here. And shut the truck off, lock it up. I just don't know. Don't want to leave my keys and truck unlocked just in case. 2004, just enough what we need to get by the header with. All right, now back into the store. And hopefully, we won't have to. Go, oh, we have to go all through that again. Flip through this magazine, and I went too far couple pages back all right but like I said folks that's the one we had is only 34.5 feet wide this is 45 feet wide so we're gonna skip this oh wait what oh man I was looking at that price of that and was thinking that's what we was needing 
Oh. How stupid is Mr. Blue? We need another 22,000 folks. $22,000 to get that in there. Oh my God. What was I thinking? <laughs> I bet John thought I was stupid. Oh. Well, I'm going to leave the truck here. I'm trying to think, see if there's anything we can sell. Hmm. Should I? Should I sell her? 16, 16 hours? Hold on, I just got through. I ain't selling my baby there. No, we're keeping her. Um, then we have, let me go back in the store one more time, folks. Uh, let's go to the garage. I think I had two of the small magnums, didn't I? Oh, I'll well, have to be all the way over here. Let's see. Um, we only got 6.8 hours. So 125 horsepower. I thought. Wait a minute. $29,371. Folks, we won't be using this, most likely. If we do chaff, we can just mow grass. I'm going to sell this. John, go get it. That way we can get our header trailer. All right. Here we go. 91000 We got the money now. Of course, we don't need it at the moment. But I'm going to go ahead and get it while we can. Bye. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. We have a bigger header now. Now I got to get back up there to that tractor and get it. Oh, we're getting a little over on time, too. Oh, come on now. Oh, folks, do y'all see that? We got to get our flatbed. We have to get our flatbed. Oh, look, John already got it turned around for us. I wish we could put a fuel tank in here. Oh, my God, it's a bigger header. So the 35 to 45, it's 10 more feet. Five more feet on each side. Whoa, I'm going to crash into, into something. All right, we're going to take us back to the cow farm. So market to cow farm. Drive course, stop at the last. And this auto save is getting on my nerves. I don't know why they do that. Put the next closest waypoint. See if that'll help. Maybe that's what I need to start doing. All right, he's going to take that back to the farm. We got oh we got a tractor up here we can take it back with. That worked out pretty good. Um This ain't the one I wanted. Let's go ahead and get the tractor and take it back to cow farm. I was needing a tanker. Well folks, I know we didn't get very much done on this episode. Um I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, I could go a little bit longer, I guess. 
I hear a helicopter. Mighty big helicopter, sounds like. I don't know if y'all can pick it up here or not, but I can kind of feel the vibration off the wings. Alright, this one's going to go with the cows too. Let's see, we transport cow farm. I'm pretty sure uh, National Guard names it's the outdriver. Change this to next closest. There we go. That's what I'm going to start doing. Um, next thing I want to do is uh, we really don't need the baler. Uh, let's do that last. Uh, we need to get these bales up off the ground, if anything. Um, this thing is, does pretty good on uh, square bales, but round bales, it, it's... If you lay them on their sides, it's okay, but it'll pick up probably two, three if you lay them on the sides, but only two if you just pick them up on the round side, if that makes any sense. And these are deteriorating, uh, it's a little bit, oh, hang on, I got to angle that down if you catch the bell down at the, about a quarter ways up from the bottom oh don't miss oh I don't want that who I thought I dumped a whole stack there for a second well oh, I am one let's see here oh that's just by turning <laughs> back up Ever had those moments where your fingers just do opposite than what you want them to do? Oh. There I go. I went close to that, so maybe that'll help. Let's yeah, see, I need to. Oh, not that. I need to stand it up a little bit. And I still don't think, no, nope, I ain't going to be tall enough. There we go. And I'll back up just a little bit here. Unject that so they'll fall. And I'm going to... Okay, so they're going to act right this time around. As you can see, I'm not used to this. I'll probably never get used to it. Perfect. Perfect. I think. Yep. Okay. Yeah, folks, I'm 40 minutes. Uh to a video I'm on uh make a couple loads and it says one two three loads right there on the ground but I need my flatbed trailer so um how many loads would that be here it's one two three on the ground and one two three and I let's see I'll be one there two there three it'll be three four five six six loads and two bales left over so that's six loads right there Woo! that is a lot um i'm actually thinking about trading this tractor right here in it's only got 6.8 hours on it but it's 
a very, very uh, low horsepower. But I don't know. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the uh, loader, the JCB there, follow me over to over there. But I'm going to use a 6R. I think I'm going to park this over here and uh, get it cleaned up. And we might just trade it in. Yeah, folks, you heard me. Wow. It's so sexy sitting there in that red barn. But let's go over here. I'm going to put the barn and I'm going to wash the baler up and this thing and this tractor put this stuff away in the barn and stuff which this roller wind roller on the front has to stay outside but still gonna wash it up um, got a lot of this other stuff up here I gotta wash um, like I said I don't know folks which one I'm gonna start with since all four of them is at the same time we're going to have to be on our toes about which one we cut. It all depends on how much is what crop is going for at the time because soybeans probably going to be a direct sale maybe uh, sunflowers won't. Sunflowers will be going into um, ooh sunflowers is up too See, soybeans is dollar nineteen. Where sunflowers is ninety three. Corn, we'll be saving corn. We'll be going in the silo. So we'll probably do corn last. Then uh, sun sunflowers will be second to the last. It'll be like this is backwards. Corn will go in the grain tanks. Sunflowers and beans. Beans going to be sold and sunflowers going to be sold for sure, probably. Cause see, we want I'm going to monitor this. Uh, One nineteen is highest, and uh, it's going up ninety three. So I just want to get the highest price for our beans. We might sell a load or two, and then put some back in the grain tanks also for a great demand. Kind of like 50 50 split, you know, because we got to get that loan paid off because that interest is eating us up at night, folks. But anyway, and we oh, uh, stab the pressure washer. But anyway, folks, uh, y'all have a uh, wonderful week. Um, just want to say I love each and every one of y'all. Uh, Y'all are very awesome. Um, amazing, actually. What is the best word? Which word is more meaningful? You know, awesome is good. Outstanding. Amazing. They're all pretty much under the same category of being best. But how would you actually go by the best word? Yeah, I do say awesome a lot because it's kind of my favorite word. Awesome sauce. <laughs> but anyway, folks. Um, yeah, I, I got to go. I'm going to wash these up. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow back here on Blake Farms. Um, depending on how much I get done off screen, I got to go outside and do some things. Oh, Lord. Should we slip in? case met the trigger point that don't sound good sound like there's yeah I parked that right in the way didn't I <laughs> anyway folks y'all have a great day a blessed day and now we'll see y'all tomorrow okay later <laughs>